Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Bloodborne. Gonna be playing this completely blind, so first and foremost, please avoid giving me hints for the time being. I'm going to be doing a, uh, I'm going to be doing a cooperative playthrough probably within a week, uh, with Sebastian SB. And th at that point, yeah, give me all the hints you can, because we're gonna want to just kind of turn through it so we can do a bunch of chalice stuff. But for the time being, uh, tips and tricks I'd prefer to keep to a down low for the time being, because I want to get my ass kicked in the most honest way. And uh, apart from that, speaking of ass kicking, so this game has completely awful uh, load times from what I've heard. Can't exactly say uh, if that's going to be the case, but I'm betting on it. So let's hope that, well dead, uh, we have at least like 30 seconds, but not more than that. Anyway, uh, but while we're dead, uh, for you, those of you watching live, those of you watching on YouTube, instead of me trying to cut that out, because I'm assuming I'm going to die a lot and where there are going to be a lot of loading screens, Instead of, you know, just sitting around and leaving leaving it on the loading screen or cutting cutting them, I'm going to go do push-ups. Probably about 10 push-ups per, uh, per death. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll adjust as needed. And if my arms get super tired, I might stop entirely just based on the fact that I'm going to want to keep playing. Anyway, uh, so there, there will be a push-up penalty for, for uh, death in this game, which is probably going to make me pretty fit by the time we're done playing this game. We'll see how it goes. Anyway... Uh, let's hop right in. We've got a whole character creation process to go through. I'm going to bump up the brightness just a little bit because YouTube always makes things super dark. Auto target switch. Yeah, nah. I'll turn that on if I need to. It seems like kind of an inter interesting function. Oh, yeah. Help. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mysteries. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin with. Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you need a contract. What's wrong with your face? Jeez. Do I, do I get to create my character now, please? Yeah! Alright, so enter name. Wow. It looks like a pretty normal dude. Oh, whoa, you can move the screen around. So, this is the first game I've ever played or captured on my, uh, on my PS4. So, bear with me while I figure out the uh, intricacies of this platform. The last PlayStation console I had was a PlayStation Portable PSP. There we go. Okay, so, what should we name him? In honor of... My Dark Souls 2 character. We're going to call him Mordecai for the time being. Uh, my... Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. This is the PS4 touchy screen thing. I don't care about that. Let's go. Okay, so his name will be Mordecai. His gender, male, age, mature, old. Huh. <laughs> Origin milk toast. <laughs> what does... Oh, this changes your stats. High life essence and vigor. So, I don't know what blood or echoes... Do, can I... Can I... Is there a select button that... Oh, PlayStation, can you please tell me what these stats do? That is not the right... Nope! That, uh, that is not the right button. <laughs> uh, what is it? No, that's not the right button either. Alright, so I have no idea. This is going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, let's see, how many push-ups am I going to do tonight? God, I have no idea. Probably a good... Uh, 300, maybe? That'd be kind of interesting. At least it's going to be... Uh, spread out. Okay, so life essence of vigor, resilient, rash but stronger for it, academia, strength and skill. Uh, God, I wish I knew what these stats did. So this is magic, it looks like, high arcane stat. So we want to go with the dumbest bastard possible. Uh, milk toast is kind of tempting just because of the name, but I think military veteran is going to be what we're going to want to go with. Maybe? What is waste of skin? No. <laughs> God, I, I love the description, but I'm going to go with Military Veteran because I think it also sets what equipment you have. I really wish I knew what Blood and Echoes meant. I have no idea. Endurance. Vitality. I mean, Violent Pass is not a bad idea. Now, let, let's go with this. We'll figure it out. Okay. So, here's the fun part. Appearance. Gender. Uh, No. We're not switching the gender. So, let's... 
you know what? Look, let's keep him young and see if I can mess with things. So let's... Wow, young voice is boring. Aged voice? Okay. He sounds old for his face. Okay, build. Sli oh, can, can we see? Cool. Burly. Can I... Is there, like, hideous freak monster as an option here? It doesn't look like it. Uh, do I want to know what blood echoes are? Sure, why not? Uh, things that I can't, like... Things that I ask about, like, what is this business? Sure, tell me. I might as well figure that out. I'm really disappointed. So we're going to make him burly. Scale adjust. Oh. I wish this was a little bit more... Oh, wait. Oh, here we go. That, that's mu much faster. So we could give him a Mondo head. Huh. See, we could make him like incredibly thin and scrawny with a mondo mondo head, but it really doesn't make that bit big of a deal. Okay, blood echoes are the currency in the game currently. That's good to know. Okay, so let's just make this man as large as possible. We want an imposing presence on the battlefield or something. Okay. Honestly, mainly because these don't really make that big of a deal. Oh, hello. I can see, as usual, from software sucks at getting uh, black people to look right. But then again, I mean the skin the skin tone isn't terrible, but it does not help that much. Okay, so we want to be whiter than the sun. Yes. Okay. God, that actually kind of hurts hurts to look at. Oh, hello. So we want to be light. We want to be bluish. We want to be purplish. We want to be greenish reddish there we go let's be pale let's be white let's be light all right so we are well on our way to being a uh, horrifying freak monster cool next up face details face presets nope we don't want any of those similar face eh works for me okay features parent age doesn't seem to make much of a difference. <laughs> I don't know what these do. Now make it... Alright. <laughs> what the fuck is this business? Wait, does that mess with the pecs too? Nope, doesn't look like it. The only reason why I'm doing this is because apparently feminine females turn blue. Uh, <laughs> as you go along. <laughs> huh. Well, this is pretty, pretty interesting already. This doesn't change the color, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna... I like I like the determined eyes that we've got going on here. Alright. Facial balance. Narrow. Oh, yeah. Looking good to me. Looking real good. Huh. <laughs> oh, boy. That looks... Mm. Look at that chin, though. You know what? Let's do it. Alright, let's go with wide... Oh, is this, like, nose shit right now? Kind of is. I don't even... Eh, why not? <laughs> Facial slant. Fuck if I know what this does. Let's go with this way because it seems to be messing with the nose. Narrow. Wide. Well, I think we're going with this. Ooh, look at that nose. Oh, ain't gonna be smelling anything with this face. Uh, <laughs> no siree. Okay, forehead depth. Hmm. Protrusion. How much does that make it protrude? Let's go with this, because that makes the model flip out. Okay, let's go with that. Nose bridge height. Oh, this is the this is the the nobbin in the middle of the nose. Okay, so let's make that big and high. Uh, convex. Concave. I don't actually see what this is doing. Still don't know what this is doing. Oh, well, let's make it protrude. As much as possible. And wise, wide nose breath. Ooh, man, that 3D model is not looking good for this. <laughs> he is not looking good today. Okay, brow ridge. Uh, we want a low brow. Which is, you know what? This is some, this is some pretty low brow shit. Ooh. Ooh, look at that 3D model go. It is not looking good today. 
Oh, yep, there go the eyes. <laughs> Speaking of... Wait, no, we want them as high as possible. Yep, they are gone. <laughs> Alright, make those small. Uh, slanty in. Yeah, it's pretty tempting. That said, that's pretty tempting too. Okay, so the, <laughs> the 3D model can't handle it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what else are we going to do? Narrow eye spacing. Hmm. Now let's make that wide. Make him look a little happy. You know? Okay. Uh, nose ridge. God, there's a lot more customization options. Ooh. Ooh, that 3D model. That 3D model is not going to be happy with me by the time we're done. Nose ridge length. Short. Long. Can't actually tell what's going on here. Nose position up. Nope, that makes it look normal. We don't want that. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, nose tip height. Nope, we want to bring that all the way down. Protrusion, convex, yeah. We're like 50% nose at this point. Oh, baby. Larry Laffer, you ain't got shit on me. You ain't got shit on me. <laughs> Nostrils, all right. Nostril slant, up. Hmm, nope. We're going down. Yes. Nostril size, large. Eh, it's worth it. Okay, wide. Hey, his nose has actually maintained, uh, regained its form. <laughs> Nasal size, massive. Fuck yeah. Dude's gonna be able to sniff everything. Look at that dis determined face. He's going to be the hero of the world. Cheeks, high. Fuck those eyes. Uh, cheekbone depth. He's very assured of himself right now. Let's go with it. Uh, let's see. Cheekbone width. Nah. That makes him look better. Okay, cheekbone protrusion. Oh, yeah. Look at that confident smile. Cheek thickness. Yay. Dude's happy. Let's make him super happy. Yeah, there we go. Lip fullness. Eh, let's go large. Yep, there we go. Lip size large. God. I may or may not have created the penguin. I don't even know. Uh, lip protrusion. Huh. Yep, sounds good. Thickness. No, we want to do that. Yeah, there we go. He's got some heavy, heavy overbite going on there. Uh, let's see. And let's purse them lips. Don't actually know what that does. I think at this point it does nothing. Oh, no, it reduces the overbite. Gotta have that overbite. Okay, my mouth expression. Okay, these are good. Mouth. God, I'm, st I'm still doing mouth stuff. Mm. Makes the chin bigger, though. That said, that overbite. Okay, mouth slant. What does this do? I actually have no idea what this is doing. Huh. <laughs> Hard to tell. Occlusion. Up. Oh. Well... Gotta be up, because apparently inclusion makes his V a little bit less noticeable. Okay. Nope. All the way down. There we go. Mouth wide. Mouth is as wide as can be. God, I'm horrifying looking. Mouth chin distance. Long there. Yep, look at him. He is the happiest man. He is super happy, and super determined, and super goddamn blue. Alright, chin. Let's see, so that makes the chin back. Nope, we want the chin to go forward. We want this man to be able to murder things with his chin. Mostly his nose, but still. Large chin. Yeah, let's actually, for once, not bring something... Uh, chin size. Yeah, we want large-ass chin, low-ass chin, wide-ass chin. Oh, it actually makes the nose protrude a little bit less. Ah. Uh, yeah. We want him to have a nice jutting form here. There we go. All right, and jaw. Here we go. Okay, that doesn't seem to be affecting the nose too much. Wide-ass jaw. Low-ass jaw. Lower jaw. What is this? What are we talking about with this one? No idea. Thick. Yeah. Look at that. 
pinnacle of manliness. Okay, is there anything else here? No, it doesn't look like it. Skin color and makeup. Skin color area. Ooh, I think we've already done this, actually. No, we haven't, actually. Light, blue, purple, red, pale, white, light. Okay, we, we have done that. Eye area. Hmm. Light. 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 Pale. Light. Light. Works for me. Okay, lipstick. Uh, powder blue. Dark blue? Sure. Hair and facial hair. Well, we should probably get some hair first. So we could be... No. I mean, we could be Benjamin Franklin. Z zombie... Zombie, uh... Benjamin Franklin? No, I, don't I don't think so. Ooh, look at me. Paragon of business. God, you'd think From Software could do their hair better. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Ah, some of the more generic haircuts, it looks like. We could be, uh... Well, Pretty Boy Princeling. We could be Pretty Boy... Maybe member of One Direction? Uh, Pretty Boy Guy needs probably a comb. Uh, let's see. Prep Boy. Lengthy hair. Ponytail. Ugh. Starting to go into the female side of things for some mysterious reason. Oh, man, look at that ponytail. Fabio. Ooh, the Fabio look is tempting. The updo. Actually, I mean... Looks like the updo is the way to go. Wait, nope. Updo, there we go. Hair color. Hair color. No. No, we're doing this wrong. There we go. Um, blue, uh, but, uh, but, okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, beard. What kind of beards do we have available for us? Ooh, look at that. Okay. Why is... Brow cut... Oh, I see. I guess I have to... Did I... I did change that, but apparently it's also, like, controlled in here. That is confusing. Okay, uh... Let's change the brow color. I mean, we could go with, like, full white hair. It's kind of tempting. You know what? Let's do that. The blue is starting to look a little bit ridiculous. So let's just go with pure white. Hair color. I mean, we could go with, like, a nice bright pink. But I think I think the white works best. Maybe a little bit of... Maybe a little bit of blue in there. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Okay. Now let's take, take a look at these beards here. Mmm. Mmm, look at that. Ooh, it's te Ooh, hello. Hold on. Oh, you can see my eyeballs popping through every once in a while. The 3D model is not happy. Oh, we found it. True love. Okay, beard killer. <laughs> God, you can see the eyeballs popping through. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is very strange. All right, let's zoom in, zoom out a little bit. Oh yeah, doesn't he look, doesn't he look great? Doesn't he look wonderful? His eyes are still popping out just a little bit. Okay, pupils, size of pupils. Uh, let's make them, size of pupils, big. Color of pupils, white as can be. Oh, you can change the size, ooh, interesting. Okay, size, big. Pupil color. There we go. Pupil size. This one's going to be that. Pupil, pupil color. If you could ever see his eyes, he would look very weird. Ooh. Ooh, I like this, actually. Can I bung that down all the way? Yeah, there we go. One white eye, one black eye. Perfect. Okay. Uh, tattoo marks and glasses. Ooh, interesting. Looks like most of these are just, like, kind of hard to see scars and stuff. Freckles. All right, let's give them freckles. Mark color. We're going to make him as white as can be. I don't think this is going to make any kind of difference, but still. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tweak mark. And now that's probably not going to do any good. Okay, glasses. Here we go. Oh, God. They're actually deformed by the... Hmm. <laughs> well. I, I don't know, guys. I think we're going to... 
Let's see. So the monocle doesn't look... God, we look... Pretty goddamn chill. You know what? I gotta do it. We're, we're going with glasses. We're going with these goggles. Because, <laughs> man, does he look happy. Okay, color of glasses. Let's make them... Hmm... Kind of like a chilled out purple, I think. Let's make him pure white. See what see what happens. This, <laughs> this is something special. Got to say, you know what? Let's go with the white. It works. Fit it fits everything. This is horrifying looking. All right, save to favorites. Ooh, means that we can come back to this guy if we really want to. All right. So, uh, brilliant young adventurer and or possibly mad scientist gone horribly away, uh, Mordecai. Actually, let's, let's take a look at, uh, name, origin, here we go. Let's take a look at this for a second. Like, waste of skin is tempting, so we don't really need blood echoes at the time being. Which one of these has the highest stats? Or, they're all equal, probably. Aren't they? So, I think military veteran at the time... Being like, troubled childhood is kind of tempting. What's the difference? Slightly better arcane. Nah, let's go with this. Okay, so I, I guess his uh, he lost 90% of his face to the war, whatever the war was. And then, uh, well, <laughs> Mordecai, Master of Love. Wait, can I add that to the name? Uh, let's see. I hope I hope there's no character limit on this. I really hope so. Of, nope, nope. Looks like Mordecai Master is the best. Okay, so we're gonna have to call him Mordecai Master of Love informally, but that's okay because you know what? It's not on his uh, not on his uh, birth certificate anyway. So that's God. This is going to be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. His face was used as a weapon in the war. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the loading screen. <laughs> he was used as a battering ram to siege a castle. Oh, man. I'm really looking forward to this. This is some good character creation. When do I get to die? That's the question. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Do you even have eyes in there, man? I can't tell. Can I have your hat? Can I kill him for his hat? That'd be kind of neat. Hey, legit. <laughs> he was the javelin. No, it might actually be one episode for the character creation. I don't actually know how long I've been streaming for. That said, the character creation is like half the fun. Oh. Well, that looks fun. Doctor, the nurse is looking at me funny. Doctor, I think the uh, nurse could use a trim. Oh, okay. Uh, doctor, the nurse is on fire. Doctor, I think the nurse needs more help than I do. Doctor, we might need a mop in here. Uh. Doctor... The nurse has been replaced with a... The nurse needs some clothes. Why are there two nurses? Why does that nurse have a vagina for a face? Ooh, this is not... This is not great. Oh, it's going to kiss me. I... I mean... Ooh. This is not a makeout session I want to be privy to. You found yourself a hunter. Alright. Ooh, look at this. 
Look at this. Uh, did I just use this something? I might have just used a healing. Okay. So let's see. Camera controls up, down. How do I roll? Okay, B to roll. Can I... That's personal effects. How do I open up the menu? Uh-oh. So I don't... Alright. Well, let's just keep checking our pockets erroneously. I get the feeling I'm just going to stand around doing nothing. Uh, let's take a look. Open door. Let's see. So when do I get a weapon? I, I would like to change the... Uh... Can I sprint? Okay, you can sprint, sort of. God, look at those belts coming off my pants. Oh, I see. There's suspenders. View notes. R1 to attack. Well, looks like I can karate chop people. Sweet. And lock on. Okay, this makes sense. Is there anything I can loot around here? I'd like a gun. I heard there were guns in this game. Guns would be fun. Doesn't look like there's a gun. Cool. Oh, I get the feeling I'm going to get attacked in here. Oh. Fuck this shit. Goodbye. Well, nothing to do with your business. Please don't kill me from behind. All right. We've successfully... Oh, it is following me, isn't it? I've got quicksilver bullets. It's still not 100% clear on where I'm supposed to be going. Closed by a device. Oh, fuck. Uh, hmm. Whoop. Can I fight it? Oh, that is my bits. Am I dead? Well, that was fast. There goes my everything. All right, hold on. <sighs> That's... Oh, I see. We we're supposed to die. Hope I didn't miss too much. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to knock it down to five push-ups for the beginning. I think the next session I'll bump it up to ten. Give or take. Where the hell am I? Guess I'm out of church now. Oh, apparently I was supposed to die. Our, oh, hello. Hunter's dream. Let's take a look at my pretty visage now. Oh, man, I look happy. I look like I my 90% of my bloodstream has been replaced with LSD, I'll be quite honest here. Let's see what we got down this direction. After taking damage from enemy, period of time in which attacking the enemy will restore a certain amount of your hit points. Okay, that's good to know. Right trigger when staggered enemy, visceral attack. Shooting your firearm will interrupt and stagger an enemy when properly timed to their attack. Hitting the enemy from behind will charge attack, cause them to stagger. Strong attack. Hold oh, you can charge up your attack. Okay, transform weapon. Good to know. Anything else around here? Do we have any loot? Usually it's the loot I'm looking for by going the alternate way. See, Quicksilver bullet replenishment. Drains HP. Ooh. Switch weapons. Okay. Most of this stuff is self-explanatory, but I got to check anyway. This is the first time I've ever actually hold a, held a PS3 controller for longer than... Or a PS4 controller for longer than... Uh, Quite a while, actually. I almost never... Oh, hello. Bath Messenger. Oh, you can buy stuff from these guys. So, like, healing items and stuff. Of course, I'm out of Blood Echoes. So there's that. Looks like he sells... Oh, hey, I can buy the uh, the Hunter's Equipment that's shown in the, the trailer of the game. Okay, so we don't really care about him. And... Well, he does not have a vagina for a face, so we're not particularly interested in talking to him anyway. Fifth Ritual... Holy chalice. Okay, can't talk to the graves. Let's go down and take a look at that creepy-ass doll thing. Okay. Abandoned doll. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Is this my shit? Oh. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right, wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. Okay, so we can get the sock lever, the hunter axe, or the threaded cane. So, the axe has the highest damage. Uh, is there toggle stats? That's not what I want. I want to see, like, a description. 
No, that's not it. Controls. All right. Mm. R3, help. Oh, hey. Physical type attack. Do, 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 do. Oh, this game has a durability system. I'm not looking forward to that. You know what? Let's grab the cane. We look like a... I mean, I don't know. It just seems like a good idea. Now, now what do we got, got up here? Uh, firearm. Okay, so we could go with the pistol or the blunderbuss. Blood attack. Why is the blunderbuss so awful as far as damage, though? I don't know. Okay. Let's go with the blunderbuss. Blunderbuss sounds like it's more fun anyway. Okay. Now, how do I go in into my inventory? That's not it. Uh, these are gestures. Where's the goddamn equipment menu? I can continually karate chop things. I am now dual wielding my hands. I can kind of plonk people with that. Okay. Accept a gift. A notebook. Oh, I can leave messages to people. All right. Oh. Blunderbuss hits several times. Okay, that makes sense. Works for me. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. So we've got this. Oh, that is quite the punch. Ooh, shiny hand. How do we go into my inventory? That's not it. Switch. Ah, here we go. Uh, no, it's not. How do I... Oh, these are personal effects. Okay, so this is random stuff. This is the one thing I don't know how to do in this game. How do I open up my... Oh, it's the options button. Didn't actually... Okay, this is different. This, uh, this is something that's completely new. Because, like I said, never actually used a uh, PS4 before. So, arms. Oh, I see. Blunderbuss. So, pull this shit out. So now we've got a cane. Let's get over here. I don't know if we have anybody to attack. So I've got a cane to attack with. Looks like it's pretty fast. Uh, probably doesn't do that much damage. So we got that. Oh. Well, this looks fun. So now I got, now I got like, a, a whippy cane thing. Can I charge it up? It said there was a charge-up move. Doesn't look like it. I got that for this. And... I'm gonna try and avoid using the gun, I think. I'll use it once. Okay, there we go. And it did actually cost me Quicksilver bullets. Which is probably a bad thing. Anyway. Abandoned doll. Alright. Not entirely sure how to interact with her. But it's, uh, it's closed. Good. Just what I wanted. Locked doors. Right off the bat. Okay, so it looked like a dapper young adventurer. I don't like my cloaky thing. Looks kind of bad. Final ritual altar. Oh, there's a bunch of these. Third. Four, second. First. Makeshift. Don't know what the ritual stuff is. Go for the tutorial. I have no idea where the tutorial is. This shit, not easy. Okay. Still closed. So down into the right, apparently? Alright, works for me. So this is the sort of thing that I'm totally okay with, uh... Spoilers of a sort? Okay, yeah. So we already went through all this. That, like, looped me... Oh, I see. Here we go. Damn it, it's closed. This loops me back the way we came, doesn't it? Huh. I mean, I thought we were supposed to go up this way, considering the doors were... Uh... Because this is where we got our shit. Well, this is bad. So we saw the... Oh. Nope. This is not it. I feel like I'm looking for a door or something. Down there. Okay, so this is closed. Do we have any other gates? Because I don't think we can leap off of that. Use the... Oh, use a gravestone. Oh, like one of these. Maybe. Here we go. You're in a gravestone. Awakening heads to... Oh... Okay. So, because we've got to go back here. Okay. So, I guess we reawaken at this place. 
So the gravestone's in the middle of the area. Did I read all the notes? The answer is no. Okay. This makes more sense. This makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to skip past some of the tutorial -y messages. Unfortunately, the differences between this and Dark Souls are going to be a little bit highlighted. Uh, we'll figure out how it goes. Uh, but still. Okay, so we got the cave. Uh, cave. We got the cake thing. Cake, cake thing. We got the cane. Hopefully it's going to be fine. I don't know. I don't even know. I... Oh, you know what? Let's do that. I don't know what that thing is, but let's, uh... Seeing as... How much does it... How much of a difference does this make? Can I take it off? Yeah, let's take it off. Okay, what do you got? Return to the Hunter's Dream. Oh, I see. The lanterns are how you get back. Your lock on release. Option option for the options menu. Okay, I missed that. On the way through. Okay, now... I believe I went down and out here, and this is where we found that werewolf thing. Yeah, there it is. Get this business out, and... Does not quite have the range that I wanted. That thing is vigorous. Oh god, there already goes half my health. I see why it's useful. Woo! That is one scary wolfie. That said, that's what whips and stuff are for, right? Is it dead? It's dead. Okay. Turns out probably good to karate chop that thing to death. I just kind of wish I had more health. Now, can I go back to that lantern to heal up? Does, can, can you do that in this game? I don't even know. No. Balls. All right, so I have, I have, uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's pretty sad that it took me three tries to say the word cane. I don't know how to heal in this game. Okay, restore HP. Uses a blood vial. I don't have any of those. Oh. I've seen the, that's what the, aha. Do I wanna? I mean, I've, ta I've taken a fair amount of damage, so there's that. Anyway, uh, let's just take a look at what we're doing here. Do we have, like, skeletons in the graveyard? Doesn't look like it. I'm liking this game thus far. I mean, it's incredibly gray, but at least it's like, it's got a, I don't know, it's got more style in it than I think the previous Dark Souls games. Cartoonish, I think is the proper term. Hey, here's my, uh, my blood echoes. Neat. What else we got around here? Doesn't look like much. I wonder if that werewolf thing respawns when I die. Oh, I hear another one. I don't see it, though. Alright, uh, can I go out here? Yeah, I can go out here. Okay. There are parries and stuff. Oh, boy. I, I'm kind of being a little bit conservative as far as using my blood vials go, considering I've only got two. Can I pick up this hat? Damn it. I want that hat. It looks like a cool hat. I'd, I'd like it. Oh, this horse has seen better days. Guess we're not going on a carriage ride anytime soon. Oh, there's a person. Let's see what we've got around here. Not much. Oh. Well, this guy does not look friendly. In that case, can I... Whippy do. Yeah, same goes to you, Mr. Man. I don't want you to be around. God, these guys have like weird and wiggly arms. Oh wait, is that the doctor? No, that's not the doctor, dude. Well, let's uh, let's, can I, can I? Yeah. I wonder how long it takes before the ragdolls freak out and stop, stop being interested in me. The answer is, these ragdolls might actually last for quite a while. Clearly, there's some amount of something I'm going to have to do with this. Anyway, let's go beat some more people up, because apparently, the general populace does not like my beautiful vi visage. Wait, do I have a scar on my face? I do have a scar on my face. Either that or it's dirt. I think that might actually be a scar that I picked up, and that door, while it looks like it can be opened, cannot. Closed by a device. Thank you, device. Screw you. Okay, do we have any other random townsfolk that, would, that we... Oh, hello. More blood vials. It's probably a good idea. Okay. Well, that didn't sound good. No idea what it opened up, but it didn't sound good. Oh, we got another 
Mansky von Fersenhofen. We got two of them. All right. Oh, balls. Well, it worked anyway. Okay, now it's time for a blood thing. Oh, I see. So the way it goes orange when you get hit, if you, like, manage to smack him back as a result, you can... Oh, there's a thing here. There we go. If you can smack him back... Molotov cocktail. All right. Uh, if you smack him back, you get your health. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, there was a ladder. There, where's the ladder? Oh, there's the ladder. Oh, somebody's ringing a bell. Let's go see if they have uh, inspirational words for me. Probably not. All right, that's not a noise I'd li I like hearing. Oh, hey, it's a lamp thing. Just make sure there's nobody here to murder me while I'm lighting this lamp. Cool. Lamp now trans transport you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you'll awaken at this camp. Cool. Can I, like, sleep at this? If you go back to the hunter's dream, will you recover your health? I have no idea. That seems like it would be something useful to know, but still. Okay. Let's see. So we got scary business. All around. Around corners. And since I've never played this game before, I don't actually know where shit is. Okay, red lamps are lore. I... Red lamps? Oh! Red lamps. Okay. Oh, you must be a hunter. And... Not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. We must have had a fine time of it. The island has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this time is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the healing church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the healing church, special blood, or so they say. <laughs> Yarnumites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place. Is on tonight. This might be your chance. Across the valley to the deep. Okay, he's already said that. Okay, so I didn't even notice that red lantern. I didn't even know it was there. So, I assume that gate is going to be open later, so we're going to be going down this direction. In fact, I know for a fact that it's open later. I saw one of my buddies play for like three seconds and he had apparently opened that up. So let's keep going. Okay, so red lanterns. Got to keep my eyes out. Oh, you look like a person. He looks like a person. Missed. These guys do not look happy when you whip them. I really wish the healing thing healed you just a little bit when you attacked enemies normally, too. I like the system. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be a particularly good master at it for the time being. Oh, uh, do I want to go down there? I don't want to go down there yet. I like the lock-on system in this game. It's neat. I, I I like the visual thus far. This is a very Dark Souls 1 in game, and I'm thus far enjoying it. That guy looks like a friend. And that guy looks like he's got a shield. Why does he get a shield? I don't. Bastard has a shield. I don't. It's not okay. Not okay. All right. Then again, actually, I, I would say... Uh, that looks like quite the congregation. Sup, bitches? Oh, the guys with the pitchforks have more health. This is good. Whoop. He's still alive. They're both still alive. 
At least I got some reach on this. Which is kind of nice. Okay. We're doing okay thus far. Do I get more healing? I don't. Instead, we got Captain Shield, man. Which? Oh, shit. He's got fire and... Oh, I'm already dead. Wow, that is fast. All right. That is a pain. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's five more push-ups. God, you do not live long in this game. 